We don't talk. Feelings flood my mind. I'd rather not self-implode. We don't talk. Pressure, anxiety, building up all inside of me. We don't talk. Walk around like shopping bags after a sale. Feel the bread that's going stale because we don't talk. Our voices locked up in our minds, passing by like passing time. Teardrops shedding on the inside. We don't talk. Try to live up to expectations, but how can I stand when my foundations are broken? Feel the words we leave unspoken until we don't talk. I can't do this. I'm spiralling. Tornado is wild and I'm going wild in imaginary spaces, places that aren't even places. I can't do this. I can't face it. We don't talk. Shadowed figures on sheltered minds, wandering souls, howl with unanswered cries, and then dumbly veil lifts, replaced by a black abyss, glimmers of light never noticed, now sorely missed, somnambulous stalk silently through these harrowed halls. Darkness clouds his form which lets him lurk about these walls. Silhouette never seen, his presence always known. Some seed of sinful thought that hasn't yet been sown. If you lie so silently in mistake you for the dead, you might just glide right past your door and stalk your dreams instead. It's the same person, different creed, different race, different sex, different name, but still the same person. One thousand faces weigh them down. Once washed away though, the figure stands tall, a pointed righteous, a hero with a thousand faces. For what is a hero, but a psycho that fits our agenda? He can rewind a tape like nobody's business. He drives a Honda Civic, and it drives him livid. Complains about it to himself, his mind, back channels. The way he drives to Aldi, how he purchases his vegetables without a sound, he travels back home, all profoundly. Road work, diversion, complain, back channel. Arrive back home and double, triple, lock the door to the road. Set down the key like anybody would. Remind himself that he's happy enough, grateful for this. Opportunity to be here. He was born too early, wakes up too early. Pearly white window, now the world can't hurt me. Glass is broken as the window's fixed. Mundane cycle, it all looks the same, it all feels the same. A calendar's a day, only it takes longer to look through. Enough variety to require some humanity, not enough to imitate reality. And after, he lays in bed, rest his weary bones, hung up his tiresome call on the weary telephone, and all drops out and his mind has time to drop in. Anybody can do anything these days. Everybody does everything these days. See what you want to see. Watch what you want to watch. Love who you want to love. If only he wasn't born a couple decades early. Chest lighter. Felt at peace. Sat at the sturdy table. The warm orange hue tinted my vision, creating a feeling of a perfect utopia in a regular room. I could hear the pots and pans on the stove talking to each other through their slow, simmering sounds. Safety was an understatement. Being kissed by the sunlight that danced through the curtains, I felt as if no time could pass. I was free in thought. My fingers traced the edge of an old picture frame, edges smooth from years of use. The frame seemed almost a part of the family. Worn down carpet caressing my feet, I let out a breath. It faded into the hot air, and I knew I was home. Sinking, sinking, down, deeper, decrepit blue. Avoiding stone and reef as my body floats, down. Suddenly I'm back, 
All eyes on me, eyes everywhere. Does what we do matter? It feels like it does. I feel like it does. Someone lays a hand on me. I drop the knife. I run. I'm running. I'm sinking down. Faster. The knife floats up. Rapidly rusting, I watch it getting smaller and smaller. Rays of light had struggled to shine, now diminish. Darkness. Down. I'm sinking. I'm floating. My head rises. My body follows. My stomach groans. No, stop! I want to go down. Let me sink. The water gets brighter. And fathom by fathom, my body is pulled upwards. Then, as I reach the surface, blinding light, roaring white, everywhere void. I'm washed up. I lie on my back, sand beneath me. Red sand. I see my chest. I see my knife. Then I'm back. I'm back again. No eyes watching me. Mine open. I gaze up. Up, up. It's dim. Stars. Twigs beneath me. Does what we do matter? The silver coins in my pocket are crying for envy of the moon.